Hmm. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. Thanks. That's it for now. I get it. You don't like me, but there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Rest assured, I'll find Bobby Yale. Duly noted, Mr. Blackside.
just turned off the grill. You all got about 25 seconds to order your last burger before it goes cold, you bastards. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Don't Mess With Me, get out of my restaurant. And don't come back unless you want a facelift. No one messes with good old Sam, little kitty. I want a cheeseburger for a friend. You're lucky the kitchen is closed. I would have spit in that burger. Come on, you bastards. Finish your meals and be gone. I'm closing in five. Smells like paint. The proud South. and not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I I'm a detective. That's what I do. Yeah, and my friend too. But that's what I thought. Get mm. off me. Sometimes, John, I can just punch you.
do you have that pen, Jake? What mess are you in? slur on Yale's locker. that Jake used to work for Natalia. This proves I was right. It's too soon to move on. Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? I saw the shamrock in your locker. I know what it means. Okay. Let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? We're pals. I won't do a thing. But please, tell me the truth. Okay, I, I guess I should have said something. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job. And it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept a uh, shady office. I've done things like that, and worse, that I'm not proud of them. This very morning, for example. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows, and I... I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, the paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? Yeah, you're right. The fact that his business is illegal doesn't turn you into a criminal. We're only accountable for our own actions. But that's not what bothers me. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold.
What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call off the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Thanks, John.